Good morning. The lifeblood of any church, any congregation, any organization is its membership. And the membership of this community has extended back for more than 150 years. This morning, we are pleased to add five new members to that community in this new member ceremony. So I'd first like to introduce Tom Ott, president of the board. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. To our soon-to-be new members, I bring you welcome from the Board of Trustees. For myself, as Connie mentioned, this church is 150 years old, and we hope that you will see yourself as part of a great singularity that stretches back that entire time. For myself, I hope that you will find as much joy in spirit and socialness as have myself and my wife. Welcome. I'd like to invite Alice Parker up to introduce and read the bios of our new members who will then come up while your bio is being read and sign the member book. Um, Alice, you have to, you have to be, um, forgive me, but I always get all choked up when I talk in front of people, but I'll get it, I'll get it together. I'm Alice Parker, a you member, a little closer to your microphone. a member of the welcoming team, and I have the pleasure to welcome the following people into membership. George Ann Hardin Fong. George Ann was born in California and attended University of Oregon, majoring in Chinese literature, history, and language. She has two grown daughters, one in New York City and one in Hollywood. She has been an elementary school educator, writer, product developer, anti-bias curriculum developer and presenter for more than 30 years. She became a UU four years ago and she was awaiting a sign from the universe to bring her back to the UU family. She received that sign and has attended USG since the Sunday after the kick in the pants presidential inauguration this past <laughs> January. Her alter ego, the storybook fairy, allows her to educate, entertain, and illuminate the wonders of children. Welcome, Georgia. Thank you. Catherine King. Because writing a bio to share with new friends can be an intimidating project, Catherine sought the help of her children, James Six, and Nora Three, to describe her. In their words, she's really nice. <laughs> she's good at working in the computer. She also likes to play with them and excels at picking out their outfits for school. <laughs> and she loves them a lot. She works in marketing at Philadelphia Navy Yard for Home and Garden Brand Terrain and enjoys running slowly <laughs> and reading lots of nonfiction at this moment around her home in Marion Station, PA. Welcome, Catherine. Justin King was raised in a progressive Christian home where he gained a concept of God 
who is the source of all love, all love, positive energy, and peace. He eventually decided to leave the Christian faith during college at Syracuse University, where he met his wife, Catherine, and has been absent from a congregation until now. After exploring, after exploring a variety of spiritual communities, he and Catherine found USG and immediately felt at home. Justin has spent his career in education and currently serves as a director of enrichment at Salmon Gratz High School in North Philadelphia. The only thing he enjoys more than spending time with his family is creating, recording, and performing original music. Welcome, Justin. Ben Miller Mark, Marks. Benjamin was born in New Jersey, but don't hold that against him. <laughs> he moved to Philadelphia to finish college at Temple, where he graduated from the Film and Media Arts program. Go Owls! <laughs> he and his wife, Nicole, who is a USG member, married here in 2014. Ben loves games and enjoys reading science fiction. He's also a huge film buff who has continuously worked in movie theaters, which are his passion since he was 17 years old. Currently, he runs the Roxy Theater in Center City as its general manager for the Philadelphia Film Society. Ben currently resides in Roxborough with Nicole and their four adopted foster cats, Ash, Sabrina, Kaylee, and Oliver. Please note, there are currently no vacancies. <laughs> Welcome, Ben. Kevin Martin. Kevin, originally from Atlanta, has lived in the Philadelphia area now for over 20 years. He lives in Abington Township with his wife, Angela, and their three children, sons, Reese, 16, Manny, 7, and daughter, Roxana, 10. Kevin is a high school teacher of German and English and has been working with the school district of Springfield Township for the last 18 years. Before moving to Philadelphia, Kevin lived in Austria for two years, where he taught English as a second language. Several years ago, Kevin and Angela both attended First Unitarian Church downtown and he's glad that he's found his way back to UUism at USG. Welcome, Kevin. As is our tradition, let's welcome them all with their recitation of the responsive reading that is found in your order of service. You have joined the Unitarian Society of Germantown and take an important step in your faith journey. We are glad you have joined us. We offer you a warm welcome into the life of our congregation. May you find friends here. May you be of service here. May your spirit grow and thrive here. Welcome. 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 We, we promise, promise to make a place for you among us. us. We will, we will listen, listen to you, you. We, will we will support you, and we will respect your spiritual path. All of our church is greater than the sum of the parts. You add much to our congregation. Welcome. We 
we come freely and without a reservation to join this congregation. We want to add our hopes and dreams to yours. We promise to support the Unitarian Society of Germantown through our time, talents, and stewardship. We look to you for guidance, fellowship, and support. We are glad to walk with you. May each of us be mindful of the privileges and responsibilities of membership in the Unitarian Society of Germantown. In our free church tradition, only voluntary membership brings a person into our religious community. Like our liberal religious forebears for hundreds of years, these new members have added their signatures to our membership book. They take their place in a long line of free thinkers and heretics who dared to liberate religion from creed and crown. Our heritage is richer for their joining. Together. Today and each day, we recommit ourselves to the work of Unitarian Universalism in our lives, our families, our church, and our world. Grateful for so many who have gone before us, we pledge ourselves to their legacy and this church. Blessings be and congratulations. <laughs>